Let's see, are we uh, live yet? I'm not getting my notices yet. Ding. All right, there's Twitch. Uh, there's Twitter. Shazam, everyone. How you doing? I am sore and I am tired. Let me check my YouTube. All right. That looks like that's fine. And Shazam. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I am beat up. <laughs> that shoveling snow, that kicked my ass earlier, man. I slept in because I really didn't have much I was going to do. And then uh, my wife goes, oh, damn. She remembered she had tickets to the basketball game. And it's like, do you want to go? I go, no. Because it's not the Raptors Raptors, it's the Juniors. Hey, Aaron. Shazam, buddy. And uh, she goes, can you help with the car? I go, oh, well, that's great. I told her a couple days ago I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't moving the car, nothing. But because of her plans, I ended up having to go downstairs. I ended up spending about over two hours clearing a space. Uh, for the car and so it can get in and out and do all that great stuff and cleared actually the old ice that was there and it's like god damn and then she come down to help i told her bring down the icebreaker because that helps right people kill themselves shoveling they really shouldn't good icebreaker will go a long way to help you out and a lot of people they think oh big big shovels great big big shovels great if you got fluff but if you got anything that's wet and heavy like what we had last night um, bigger shovel is not a help to you. So, uh, I told her, listen, I told her what spots to break up. Cause there was some spots I drove over in that compacted the snow a bit. And I said, so I need that broken up so I can move it easy. And, uh, you know, I did it the first half of it by going over my shoulder. So I throw everything back. Cause I'm very courteous. I don't throw it into any other spots. I don't throw it back into the road. I throw it only be into the grass behind my spot. So at one point, it's like, geez, I'm really tossing the snow about 12, 13 feet behind me. It's like, okay, now we're aggravating my sore shoulder. It's like, okay, let's not do this anymore. So I moved the car out of the way. And then I proceeded to just walk with it, which was great because, you know, today I couldn't go do my 10K walking. But when I was done, I got all my cardio in. Oh, my goodness. I checked my watch and I watched my heart rate and everything. It's like, God damn, man, everything was fucking sweet. Part of my language. And, uh, mm. yeah, so did that and then came yeah. upstairs, had my, I guess you would say it'd be lunch because then it'd be my first meal of the day and just chilling and relaxing and catching up on some stuff. Didn't do the other stuff I wanted to do, like pull down sets or move some sets around, but that's because I was pretty much exhausted. I wasn't going to get on a ladder. It's like, no way. Not doing it. That's one bottle down. Which I when she came down, I was teaching her, you know, because I'm a safety guy, and like, mm -hmm. you know, there are ways to do stuff even in the winter, like shoveling snow. That's a great way to kill yourself if you don't know what you're doing. And uh, she was, oh, why are you doing it that way? Because I don't want to die out here. <laughs> I do not want to be a statistic. So how was your day? Uh, I went to work and went to eat. Yeah. I'm hoping to have something cool later to eat, but I don't know. I might end up just resorting to making chili dogs. I noticed I got some hot dogs and chili and I got some cheese. And that could be a easy out because I don't know if the ladies will be back in time to feed me. It would be nice if they were, but I doubt it. So, yeah, man, the Firebird. Is this even going to show up on the camera? Probably not. Boom. Let's swap these out. Oops. Firebird. 
And I even got a wiki article linked in the uh, notes for the show from Wikipedia on the Pontiac Firebird, if anyone's interested. All right, set. I guess you would say this is their largest scale. The largest ones come with an actual Hot Wheels car, it seems, because this is the third or fourth one they've done that with. But, um, Imagine if they made that black. Yeah, it would be nice if they did it in black, but a, a basic Trans Am in black I would really like, but I don't think they're going to bother now. And I almost hope they wouldn't because, you know, it's... Uh, I don't want things to be too repetitive. Right now, I'm enjoying these large cars. I don't know how much longer I can keep buying the big ones. I've given up on the small ones. I even looked at the newest ones they put out. I'm not buying their small ones unless there's something significant. I even pass on an actual bone shaker one. But um, these big guys, yeah, I'm still into them right now. The price pretty good. Plus, if I can get them at Walmart. Especially like this one where the first day available to me in Canada and I was able to pick it up on my company discount. It's like, oh, that is so sweet. That's the best. And what am I missing here? Something that seals on the other side. Okay. Get, can I get a helmet Friday? Yeah, you were saying you are thinking of Rex or the other clone, right? Cody. Cody. Now, Aaron dropped high, but all he said was hi. Usually he says a little more than that. Where are you hiding? Let's see. Whoa, are they really 14 bags? There must be not a lot in each bag. So let's see. So there's your presentation right now. Really nice. Everything's secure. You know, I was in the store yesterday or the day before, and I noticed... Um, I don't know if you buy the Black Series action figures, but they they now don't have the plastic windows on the boxes, and they actually put at the bottom plastic-free packaging. I go, ah, oh, jeez. So now you're not even seeing the figure you're buying anymore. I think it's funny because it's like, okay, I get it. Packaging is horrible, but you're still selling us a plastic figure, you know? And then the argument is, well, it's one kind of packaging. Mm, yeah, all right, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm getting so tired of companies trying to impress us with either how woke they are or how environmentally sound they are or, oh, we're going to hit these, these um, environmental marks, you know, blah, 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 or sustainability or low emissions or, you know, whatever. And you'll always find that for every one of those companies, there's always a level of bullshit. Uh, I'm playing to get a second Aston Martin set for Speed Champions. A second one? How come? Uh, I tore a part of the the gray one for for parts. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds like a good reason then. Uh, the 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 lime green one's still together. Oh, Jesus! Stupid. Come on. Kind of nice being able to use a knife again. At work, we can't use knives anymore. They got these ridiculous safety blades. There we go. So it's a half card. Ooh, that is so nice. So I don't know if that's an exclusive um, print for. Mm. Print is probably not the right term, but uh, it does match the build, so that's always nice. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is unique to the set or not. I would suspect it's not. Um, but there, for anyone hunting, I don't know if that's going to show up. But if you, uh, I'll add this to the set. Oh, hang on a sec, guys.
Shazam. Boom. Shazam. Sue, that was just wifey. Boy, that game didn't take too long. That was a two and a half hour basketball game. I'm going to open this on the last of the streams. So that's something to look forward to. This is definitely going to be a multi party. Oh, wow. 15 bags. Small. There's our windscreen. Looks like it's 12, 12 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a 12 wide at that point. Yeah, not a lot of parts in some of these. 16. Oh, my goodness. So 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, or they, now see, they did what I, I, I've been wishing Lego would do. It's like putting the bags in the bags bothers me. Oh, 17. Here they separate them out. I mean, it's just as much plastic. Let's see. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, three, big one, and the big manual. Look at that big, big book. Can't even put it in screen. Can't even put it on screen. It's so damn big. Ooh. Okay, your internet's breaking up. If it's going to be too bad, we got bounce jackets. I can't be asked. What? 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 Oh, because I already had my headphones jacked up. So even with my sketchy hearing, my hearing's actually pretty good with the headphones. All of these can go here. Move those out of the way. Big books, big books. These are actually going to be a pain for me down the road. Like, they're almost too big. I wish they were in the um, 8x11 format, like, a, what is it, A9. But, um, oh, one and two. I need one and two. All right. One and two, folks. Let's put this back. Yeah, did you like my little pause there? I got my little pop-up there. Because so I was playing with some of my screens, got rid of a bunch of them, some of my overlays. Actually, I got rid of a lot. Because so I realized when I update the way I do things, it kind of looks weird against the old ways. So it's like, okay, I better update. So everything I got going on is new. All fresh and clean. Daisy fresh. But Lemony fresh, lemony fresh. Le lemony fresh. Try ABC's lemony fresh douche with all new winter spring freshness. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Let's see. So bag one. And I got yet another separator I'll never use. I do not use those. Not really. They're good. The, 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 uh, the pin pushers are good. But the truth is I don't even really use them for that much. What are you going to try? Sorry. See, you're all super sketchy. I can't. I can, one word got out of all that you said. Try that again. What are you going to do tonight? I'm going to build, I'm going to eat, I'm going to go to sleep. I don't think I'm going to do two build streams tonight because I actually feel exhausted. That was that was an intense workout. Doing that today almost felt like riding uh, from Toronto to Niagara Falls. Like The way my body feels after two and a half hours of shoveling that snow, that feels like the uh, – feels like nine – nine or ten hours of bike riding so, i mean just just brutal i mean it was great great exercise but it's just like wow 
What an energy suck that was. Like, just pull it right out of me. So I need two of those. This one, nice golden piece. And a longer. This one must be. One, two, three, four, five. So on the six. Hmm. I think I get this right. So is this how wide it's going to be? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, so 12 wide. Not including the uh, wheel wells. Okay, ooh. Now see, that's what I was worried about, if I could even build. My hands are sore. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, between... Um, just the position because I got nerve damage in one arm, so I have to focus most of my lifting on the other arm. So this is the side that always has the scoop when I'm shoveling. And then when I'm using the uh, icebreaker, I'm doing it with the other side. I lift it up and drop it, lift it up and drop it. And that's the proper way to use it. People sit there and they'll hold on to it, go bang, bang, bang. That's bad for your wrist. You actually lift it up and you drop it so it falls and then you grab it again. That's the proper way to use it. And, um, but yeah, sure. Imagine you ride your bike to Toronto, to Ottawa. I have I had planned that eight years ago. Um, I planned a trip of that scale. I planned a trip that would take me 1,500 kilometers over seven days. I didn't actually do it. Um, I was in shape to do it because my longest bike ride from Toronto to Niagara Falls was 159 kilometers. And surprisingly enough, that particular trip was shorter in time than my shorter distance ride, which was, uh, I did 129 kilometers Toronto to the falls, different routes. The longer route was easier on my legs and, um, the incline wasn't as intense. You still got to the right elevation in the end, but uh, it wasn't as intense. Some would say you should take it all in and get it over with, which, you know, I've done that on some rise, but that's very taxing on your body too. How, lo how far is Toronto to Ottawa? Uh, off the top of my head, I want to say 600 kilometers, but I don't know for a fact. So let's just let's just have some fun here. If we get rid of this here, we'll, I'll use Google Maps. Everyone likes Google Maps. Uh, oh no, not even. Um, so from here to Ottawa by car, four hours, four and a half hours, and that's like um, oh shoot, that just came up. Where was it? It was. 300 and something kilometers. So that's not too bad. Not horrible, but that's by car. And for me, that would be a two or three day trip by bike. And very sore ass and wrists and shoulders and probably neck and if it's really sunny, sunburned skin and a, and a blistering nose because you can only put on so much lotion. My very f first ride from Toronto Niagara Falls, um, I had coated my body in suntan lotion to the point where my skin color didn't look right. And you're basically caking it on because you can't stop constantly because it just kills your progress. And... Uh, about four, four -ish or four and a half hours into that ride, I stopped and reapplied. And that's really the only time I did. And then after that was like another five hours of riding, give or take, something like that. And I tell you, when I got to the falls, and I mean to the falls, 
it's like, okay, this is cool. I sat for a little bit. I made phone calls because I wanted to get picked up. It's not like I was going to ride home. That would just be too much. Um, so on that trip, I had called my mom and her husband. Now, keep in mind, I wasn't telling anyone I was doing this because I actually hadn't intended to do it that day. I had actually an Achilles injury. And the intent was for, okay, these are the wrong pieces. Um, the intent was just to ride to my company's baseball game on that particular Saturday and just watch because I told him I couldn't play, blah, blah, blah. But, um, I ended up feeling good enough and the weather was good. No, it wasn't too hot when I had started the ride and, you know, I got, Two, two or three cities away when I realized, hey, you know, this is going pretty good. And back then, I was always riding with my full gear anyway. So it's like, I'm going to keep going. And then, you know, 9, 10, 11 hours later, whatever it was in that first ride, um, called my mom and said, hey, you want to come uh, pick me up? And she goes, well, it's going to take me a while. I go, that's okay. And I And here's the thing. So my riding wasn't even done. I was at the falls when I made the call. I rested a little bit, got a drink, and then I rode up to up Lundy's Lane and went a little farther. If you're not familiar with the falls, don't worry about it. And I found the McDonald's, went in there, had the biggest meal I could buy, biggest drink I could buy, sat down outside the place. Actually, I got my two stories mixed up. That was my third ride because that's the one my wife picked me up. So my mom did pick me up at the falls. Where she found me, I was leaning against the wall having a like the equivalent of a big gulp, something like a 7-Eleven big gulp, except it's not 7-Eleven because there was no 7-Elevens right there at the falls. But um, yeah, just leaning and almost passed out. And I had locked up my bike in front of me because uh, I knew I was going to pass out because I was exhausted. One time I met a guy that drove, rode his bike to Miami, Florida, to Los Angeles, California. Yeah, there's a bunch of awesome guys like um, mm. who do these bike journeys, and you, you can find all kinds of them on YouTube. And there's one right now. He's going to ride for the next year, top to bottom, through Africa. And that is actually a scary ride. I've seen a few people do that, and they journalize through vlog vlogs their journey. And it's just incredible. Mm. Um, the planning it takes, the physical shape you need to be in, the mental state you need to be in because it's very hard um so one guy i can't remember his name he rode around the world actually he's done it twice now on his bike but he was vegan when he started mm -hmm. and he was in training for three months because he had done other incredible feats on his bike and he figured he was going to burn no less than eleven thousand calories a day well being vegan at the time uh he wasn't vegetarian he was full-on vegan there was just no way he was ever going to be able to eat enough and still be able to ride. Um, he'd be shitting all the time and he'd be bloated all the time and just be carrying too much in his system. So he had to figure out, okay, so what calorie dense foods was he going to eat? So clearly he was going to have to go back to eating meat. That's great. Cause you're, when you're riding that far, like I do it one day, right? And that's okay. It's not a big hit on your body. But if you're doing that kind of, he was doing that kind of ride I did, but he was doing it every day for a year. Well, that will cannibalize muscle at a crazy rate. So he's got to take an extreme amount of protein in. So he's got to throw all of his ethics and whatever out the window. And he's got to eat whatever he can eat. You know, um, calorie dense peanut butter and meats and you know, wherever he can get sugars and proteins. And um, that was actually interesting watching him struggle with the food thing. How much do you carry on you and how much do you buy? Because, of course, you've, you're you're always worried about money when you're traveling like that. You're always worried about getting robbed. How much gear do you take? I mean, uh, how much? Yeah, because you've got to carry everything, right? And the animals. Say it again. The animals which are concerned depending on where it is you're going to crash crash each night and then of course the wear and tear on the bike 
it, that's interesting stuff too because you have to um okay that is the dumbest thing i've ever seen step three step four why would they do that okay I mean, I'm sitting here. I got two two by fours, and it's like, well, why wouldn't you give me a four by four? I don't know. Boggles the mind. Would you drive? Would you ride a bike from Miami to Los Angeles? Probably not, because I don't think that's a fun ride. What am I going to see? What am I going to see? Because you're going across the country, right? Across I ten. Yeah, but you're going across the country. What are you going to see? A lot of highway, right? A lot of interstate. Yeah, that's a lot of interstate. I don't think that's necessarily a visually appealing route. Now, if you said uh, Maine sure. down to, let's see, Florida is on the same side as Maine, right? Yeah. Okay. If you said Maine to Florida, that'd be interesting because look at all the cool places you get to hit along the way. Or Big, Route, or route yeah, 66. Boston, New York, right? Um, yeah. Lots of cool places. Um, some visually great stuff. I'm not sure how close to the water you could ride. Uh, you know, it's all a matter of what's accessible by bike. But um, in your neck of the woods. Up here in Canada, I can ride a bike. So our highway speeds are 100 kilometers an hour. That's probably equivalent to your miles per hour you're you're 66 or you're 56 i can't remember which uh the highest the highest is 85 here well what, what would be the real average like across most states not your peak but what's the real would it be 66 about around Probably. around there yeah. so because i think 100 is roughly 66 so i can't go on hundreds but i can go on 80s um, not that it's fun, but I have because my trip to the falls was 50% on roads that are 80 kilometers an hour. So 80% of your highway speed that those are the roads I'm used to. So I don't have a problem being beside cars. That doesn't mean it's fun though, especially if it's a, now, like you were saying, interstates, that means heavy use by tractor trailers. That's not fun because when a tractor trailer goes by, you get an effect where you get sucked in behind it. When you're on a bike, or, or go or ride a bike through Route 66. What's so special about Route 66? It's like the original Highway of the West. It oh, uh, is that the highway they do the Cannonball Run on? Is that one going across the country and uh, um? Like from Venice Beach to like New York? I think Illinois. Uh, it's from Miss, Missouri. Oh. I'm missing a whole bunch of chat here. Hey, JB. Oh. Uh, Oklahoma, Northern Panhandle, Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. I'm going from Virginia to Georgia in the spring. Oh, lucky guy. That's okay, JB, about Ryan. Hey, it's not for everybody, dude. That's too bad because I thought his stream was okay, you know. And he could always come back to it. Uh, I'm sending you a picture of it. I'll check it after, though. I want to see if I can actually plow through this before wifey gets home. I got a feeling when she gets home, I'll end up eating dinner. Uh, come on. There it is. And I guess we're going to use these for the wheels. We are. Okay. No, we're not. Okay. They're in the wrong spot. Okay. Sent. You sent it? Yep. Awesome. Now, there is an actual bicycle route that you could take on across your country. 
I'll have to look it up because I just watched a couple of YouTubers do it. And it's a relatively popular route. And there's even a bicycle festival that it coincides with in the summer. Um, and I think a lot of the guys doing it, it takes them three weeks. If I'm not mistaken, they do it in three weeks, which sounds ambitious to me. But it sounds like it's also smart because, well, you you got to be careful. Now, I know some guys who set the world records for like going around the world or going from one end of the States to the other, whatever. Those guys, if they have support vehicles, that's a lot different. But if you're riding by yourself, that means you got to carry your gear with you. That's a different kind of riding. I call that survival riding because you got everything. Your clothing, your gear, a little bit of food, extra water, especially if you're going through the hot states. Like, I can't believe when people go through Nevada on their bike or go through Colorado or Arizona. Arizona. I mean, that's scary to me. Hey, Dan. Yeah, we're finally working on the Firebird. Dan, I wanted to catch up with you. I, we're still good for 8 o'clock tomorrow night, Sunday night. Because I more or less got the thumbnail made. I just haven't committed to a schedule for it. Yeah, I was lucky, dude. Day one for me on sale. Well, not on sale. Uh, discounted for me, right? But you, You're hoping you get... You can get all this done, all that done in one stream? Oh, no, that's it's never going to happen for me all in one stream. I made four thumbnails, so I'm guessing I'll end up having to break it up into four streams. It should be good. I thought it was a – yeah, I haven't committed to nothing. I just wanted to be sure. I don't have a problem doing it at nine, but we'll set a hard limit for an hour max so that, you know, those of us who got to work because I'm going to be tired when I get home anyway tomorrow. I know it. I know I'm going into a shit show because they called in extra people today. I would have gone in, but um, the request was specifically for people to do a certain type of work, and I didn't that really didn't appeal to me. It's like, nah, I got enough other operators I can go with. And in the end, they asked for five, four applied, and only three got taken. I'm curious why they didn't take the other one. Or did one apply too late? That's always possible. That's always possible. Hey, Tiago, Aviana, you guys watching? Be good for your dad, okay? Your dad loves you. Oh, oh and don't eat too much chocolate. <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll try and keep, absolutely, we'll try and keep it PG then for sure. During the day, we try anyway. Oh, my God. That's the only thing I don't have. I honestly don't have the strength to do the plates today. Like, this was dumb. I should have just pushed it off another day. But I really wanted to get to this. So, Dan, we'll do um, 9 p.m. Sunday. Sound good? Oh, I knocked one piece off already. Son of a gun. Okay, I don't need a bracket. I just need a plate. Let's see. Blue, gray, 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 gray. Okay, we're good. Back to normal programming. But yeah, if you're good with 9 p.m., then I'll set it for 9 p.m. When I get off here, I'll probably post it by 6 or 7 o'clock tonight. Just so that there's some lead time and spread it around. But yeah, okay. I'm good with that. And I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, Kevin, uh, 
Mr. OK Hobbies, Hobby Hooligan, will be good with that. He seems pretty flexible. Oh. It's half of this sticking off. Half of this is going to stick off. Oh. oh, we're back to an all adult. That's okay. I still like to keep it PG this early in the day. I mean, if I go off on a rant, hey, it's my show. But <laughs> oh man, yeah, I just don't have that. It was something else. See, usually I don't have to shovel at all, and I'll just go through. It's funny, you know. By the time I get all wheel drive, actually, it'll be next winter. By the time I get all wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually really didn't need the, um, you know, I didn't need all wheel drive. I just put it in one and two, you know, I just used gears one, two, three, and I was able to get through the snow just fine. Even though the snow on top of the car was 12 to 14 inches and in front of the car, wow, in front of the car, the headlamps were blocked at one point, a little bit on one side. All right, so we're good. You heard it here, folks. Dan committed to it. We're good. Uh, uh, two by four again. Two by threes. Yeah, I'm still trying to decide if I want to get that Witcher set. Oh, the snow was just crazy. The Witcher set? Yeah, there's a Witcher set. Um, I don't know if it's even been spotted locally here, but I, mean, the, I haven't I haven't decided if I'm going to commit to it or not. Is it from Kobe? No, it's it's Mega. Mega. Yep. So, uh, oh, thirty centimeters in Kitchener. Well, that was what was crazy. So I had on one mm -hmm. side of the car. Like virtually no snow, not no snow, but not a lot of snow. On the other side was, yeah, up to my hip. I used the shovel to take the snow off the car. I, I've never done that before. But it moved easily. Like, I was really surprised. It, and it was beautiful weather out today. Like, it was just awesome to be out there. That's why, like, I, I took, a, I went down there in three layers, right? And, you know, scarf. My toque, which I never wear. Uh, my heavy winterized gloves that I use for work these days because they're super mm -hmm. grippy. And the three layers of the jackets. I took the two layers off almost immediately, pitched them in the car. And actually, my wife took off with it. I didn't even need them. She said, do you want them back? I go, no, nah, forget it. Leave them in the car. Uh, definitely get the Witcher set, Amazon, so far. Uh, light of function. Yeah. I can do without the light gimmicks because that just means I got to worry about batteries. It means I either got to remove them or you got to remove them. That's the biggest mistake you can make. To... I made that mistake. Well, it wasn't a mistake. It was just like a seven or 10 year old set from Mega when the light up hogs. And uh, as soon as I started building it, I opened it up and the early signs of leakage were there. It's like, damn. I was very lucky I caught it then because it could have been could have been worse. I could have lost part of that set. Yeah, it was wet and heavy because that's the thing. I'm sitting there. And like I could have, it was so uh, dense and heavy that every time I pick it up with the shovel, it came up in a block that was roughly, you know, 16 by 12 because it's the sh shape of the scoop, right? And I could have built a, like a block house or a block wall almost like it. When I was pitching them over, like you, you could see where they're landing on the snow bank behind me, like just solid. Yeah. So the battery in the uh, light up, the light up uh, warthog. I don't know what was that 2012, 20, 2011, 2012 set, whatever it was. Yeah, that thing basically started to leak. Excuse me. But, I mean, whatever set that was, I was like a seven-year-old set when I acquired it. 
Oh yeah, every every battery that you have in a collectible somewhere. And the problem is, so many of your to the toys, a lot of them didn't have real accessibility to the batteries, right? But it's like every one of those light up toys, they all um, they all have an issue. The, oh, there's only one kind of toy I've ever seen that doesn't have an issue. So a rip cord toy that has a capacitor in it. Um, and, and capacitors can have their own problems because they can pop, of course. But in and of itself, it's not a battery. So you don't have the same leakage problems as you would with a battery. But capacitors can pop, of course. Now, what toy had the rip cord and no battery? I couldn't tell you. I know there were some because I watched Toy Galaxy. And he was talking about that with some of his collectibles that he sold and then guys would say oh well this and that and this and that's ruined and you think your toys were great and kept in good condition because oh i just put them up where no one touched them but it's like yeah but you didn't yank the batteries did you because people don't think about that batteries are something i take out almost immediately after i build it and rubber bands if they're anywhere in a build like let's say the x-wings that use them for the ds foils i pull them out pretty much shortly after i build them Just because I don't want them all stretched and stuff. And, I mean, I always buy extras. Or I beg and borrow to get them. But um... there's some there's some exceptions in it's some exceptions to what? Like the bat wing needs rubber bands in the wings. Oh, the UCS bat wing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, and it's a pain in the ass to remove them too. <laughs> so my solution to that was well stock up right so i have extra that's why i run a bricklink group because it's really nice to have access to people who always have everything you want and i've got what 30 how many people i got 3200 3600 people something like that i know we're in a really good spot it's my best group right now Oh, you son of a bitch. Pardon my language. But, yeah. You know, this, and, of course, the small screwdriver sets, they, they'll be your friend. Because, of course, you know, pulling that crap out. Did I just do that wrong? Mm, I don't think so. Nope. Don't know. See, this is one of the problems with brick colors versus photography colors. When I built that ambulance the other day, you know, the neon yellow really bothered me, and it didn't look neon yellow on the box. It kind of looked like a a lemon yellow uh, or or a bright green even and then this one like this blue is not horrible but it definitely is not the blue i'm seeing on the box art at least it's consistent all throughout all the bricks and all the bags i can see the colors are fine but they're not it's not what i see on the box now i could screw with the photography you know i could absolutely mess around with it but uh no, it's not the same. Okay, so there's some two by threes, but they got some prints on them. Ah, they do. Nice. So that's one of them. There's the other one. Oh, they do such a nice job, too. See, Mega's got it all figured out with the prints. There's too many Lego purists out there who will apologize for Lego. Or make excuses. It's the same thing. Lego simps. Yeah. I don't I don't have a lot of use for them. Because all it tells me is they're closed minded. You don't have to like something. 
that doesn't mean you got to crap all over it. And I see, I still see people who will use comments about, say, Mega, because since I'm building Mega, they'll talk about Mega. But really, what they're really discussing is stuff that is from 2015 or earlier, or from stuff they find in garage sale lots that are beat up, chewed on, pissed on, whatever, right? I mean, garage sale lots are generally pretty disgusting. Children have chewed on them. Dogs have chewed on them. Uh, you name it. It can be pretty bad sometimes. And this clouds their judgment. Like, there are parts in Mega that, you know, you'll never find in Lego. And these things can be awesome. Like, the way these brackets also have holes. Because it opens up a world of possibilities. You can put pins through them for securing stuff even better. I see value. That's the thing. All bricks count. I see value in so many different companies' products, not just Lego. Lego's always going to be my favorite for a lot of reasons. But when I see what some of the other companies do and do better than Lego... Uh, it's it's astonishing. I think it's embarrassing, to tell you the truth, for Lego. Oh, cat hair. Yeah, that's always a fun one. Someone else. It's bad enough when you have your own pets and you're dealing with, like, I'm always dealing with my cat hair here. And, like, you can't see it. And sometimes I'll do this, and I'll, you just see me do this with my finger. Just I take that one gray or black hair I see, and I'll just off the desk. Because I see it. You might not see it. But it drives me bonkers sometimes. Especially on my desk. I love my desk surface. This stuff is um, Arborite. It's basically a kitchen countertop, that plastic crap you'll, you'll see in apartments or even some condos that they'll put on kitchen countertops. It's the stuff is rock hard when you apply it properly. And its durability has been amazing. And it's a great surface. And I still like it, even though it has drawbacks. I mean, it gives me this great white surface, really hard, um, doesn't stain easily. Just it's worked out pretty good for me so far. And dust can't, well, yeah, dust is the worst. Another reason I got the glass just because, you know, I mean, one idea I had was, well, I could always put some of the sets on these shelves. I can because the cat's proved he won't necessarily go up on these shelves. He's gotten older now. But then I'll have to dust them more because when I first set up this version of the studio, I put some sets behind me um, just because I thought it looked cool. And it did. Until I knock one off. It's like, well, let's not do that again. Because that's uh, dumb. But yeah, I made, I made uh, four thumbnails. And it only takes me... 10 seconds of thumbnail to make another one because so I've already got it pre-made. You know, the uh, template is there. And all I do is swap out the last one that's had four. And I say, okay, I overwrite that with five and five goes in there. Export to export to JPEG, 100% quality. Boom, done. Yep. Easy. Okay, that is... Not the same color. That's caramel. So what do we need? I need gold. Good. 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 I yep. need to find my voice changer. I have to play with that. That might be something I try later. Let the hate flow through you. Let the hate through <laughs> No, there's no hate here. No hate. Oh, wow. That's a scrappy dog. You have no idea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're back. We're back. 
<laughs> yeah, but you didn't bring me any food, did you? Did you ask for anything? You didn't say nothing. Mm. 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 Three, three, and a lot of jumpers. Two, three, mm. four, five. I need another one. She hates. She hates Six. a dog when it comes out. In, wait. She hates the other dogs when they when they come there in the house. Oh. Yep. I imagine a lot of dogs are like that, territorial. Mm. Which way are these going? These are gonna go like that. Nope. They're gonna go up here. All muscle out. I was like, what? I you? so I've been telling people, you know how I feel? What? Do you remember the first time I rode the Niagara Falls? Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah, I feel so drained. And you guys, that was a short basketball game. What the hell? I did all that shoveling, and you guys are back in two and a half hours, three hours? <laughs> I thought you would be gone longer. Like, that was supposed to be a three-hour game. I thought it was hockey season. Well, up here in Toronto, it's everything season, man. Like, we got, hey, the Grapefruit League just started, right? Didn't I you see that? Blue Jays were already playing. They're down there in Dunedin. It was a good game. We won. <laughs> did we win? Yeah. Who did we beat? Uh, the Mad Ants. And where are they from? I have no idea. It doesn't matter, then. <laughs> There's just a junior league. Crap team. One, two, three. Here's the Blue Jays play. play. Sorry? The Blue Jays? Yeah. Well, the Blue Jays is uh, your, your, um, your baseball league down there. Uh, but they're, yeah. in, they're in the Grapefruit League right now, so. Uh, we have the Astros and the Rangers. Oh, yeah. I don't even look at the Grapefruit League because to me, none of it counts. Hey. What am I? It looks like the Twisty Towers. It's, it's a person. It's, yeah, yeah but Ontario. behind them. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's because they're in Mississauga. That's what it looks like, though. It looks like the Twisty Towers. Yeah. We got a free t shirt. This is free. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Cool. Is that one mine? Yeah, if you want it. You want it? it looks big. It's large. Oh, I'll fit. It'll fit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That guy looks so weird. What is, is that? He holding a kid drink? What is that? Um. Or a camera? Uh, it looks like a camera. <laughs> what, you want to show this your sounds typical for to Toronto. Your, your team? Your, your people? No, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> If I wear it, they'll see it whenever I wear it. Okay. Two of these. Oh, Dan, I got your shirt. That's not bad, a free shirt. <laughs> and, the, and our team won, so I guess that's... That makes for a good experience for people. If that was the first, say it was a Girl Scout thing, they all bought tickets for the Girl Scouts. Oh, this must be for seating or something. Okay. So you building something right now? Me? Yeah. Me? Yeah, you. I uh, just 
I just took took apart this and just section by section and rebuild it. Okay. Why was there a mistake or? Uh, just for the fun of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh, where are these gonna go in hell? So these are very staggered off. Okay. See, I like this though. You're building with real bricks. That's why, I like, if you gave me this car in Technic or gave gave me this car in these bricks, I'll take the one with the bricks every time. It feels more like Lego. I mean, I, I appreciate Technic for what it is, especially when something can only be done with it. Is but... your glass case on your pumpkin? Yeah. Bear well, damn, put a headset on. I will not. You will. I will not. Or I'll turn it off with my phone. Where are all these bricks going? Probably glossy pages. I had the same problem with the Lego thing. Depending on, like, this book is so big, and I got so many lights that I got to reposition myself just to see the instructions because, well, they, uh, they reflect back sometimes the light. 646 six going across. Okay, that can't possibly work. Aha, uh -huh. I can if I change it. There we go. Tomorrow, bar is your hall stream. Yeah, I don't like to call it hall streams, but I'm trying to rebrand it to, um, you know, Sunday chat. Well, to just chat, basically. But it's since the last two have been Sundays now, it's like, oh, maybe this is the way things are going to be. Of course, that might be a good way to limit it to one hour because, well. Most people have to work on Monday. And after coming home Sunday, I don't feel like doing anything for a long period of time. One, one, one. One and this. Silver. Caramel color or copper. Two by four. Two by two. You bugger cat. The evil cat strikes again. Yeah, he's scratching at my chair. He just wants attention, though. Sorry, what was that? He just wants attention. Oh, he's going to get the attention of the wrong kind. <laughs> Wrong kind. He's getting older. He keeps oh. this up. I'm not going to pay to keep him alive. How old is he? I don't know. Probably. Well, he was a rescue, so we'll never truly know. But um, what do you think? I well, we've had him. I think ten years, maybe. But at his age now, if anything goes wrong, it's going to be expensive. It's like, you know, ain't going to pay for it. Nope. If it's a dog, you if it's a dog, you'll accidentally drop a chocolate bar on the floor. <laughs> yeah, chocolate's not good for dogs. <laughs> Bad. Oh, it's just an accident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I like dogs too much. Dogs are actually useful animals. There we go. And we got some up brackets here. Uh, and some gray up brackets. Blue, gray, gray, and blue again. Awesome. I, 
I lean more more towards dogs and cats than cats. How, how come? I, I I was raised with dog dogs. See, I had everything, but I just think dogs are just better. Period. The only problem is you 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 have to um, try harder with dogs, unless you got like a backyard and a door, and you just open it up and let the dog run. Then that's great, but. In the city, you can't technically do that, at least not for us here. So you got to be responsible and walk them. That can be tough. Well, if you're not feeling well, well, dog still needs to go out. <laughs> if I decide to go hunting, dogs are dogs are more useful. Yep, for sure. And plus, a cat really won't protect you. They just go. He, we're just gonna wait till you fall down, and they're gonna eat your eyeballs first. I live right behind and right next to the crazy cat ladies. Oh no! Mm -hmm. And it stinks. Yeah. Mm. The worst part is they don't even realize it. Okay. Oh, we're almost done these two bags. Let's see. One click a day. No, nah, it's okay. Go away. People trying to sell me shit. Go away. Four, three. Four, three, two by six, two by three, two by two. Now, see, this is interesting. Lego would literally truly duplicate an instruction left to right. Mega generally doesn't. Now, it's the same thing. It's just flipped over, but they seem to pretty intentionally always stir it up a bit so you don't feel like you're building the same thing. Which is both good and bad. Depends what your goals are. If you're trying to fly through a build, I don't try and fly through a build. Four by... Eight. Wow, this thing's already a weapon. It's solid. No Technic involved so far. Probably won't be. I think the Bigfoot truck was the only one that had any kind of significant Technic-style connections. Oh, what did I forget? Okay, so one of these was on a step that I didn't do. Plate, plate. Aha. Okay. Now that is odd. Hmm. And a one. So I don't know where I missed that step. Oh, there. And yet. They don't have me do it on the other side, even though I usually could. That is funny. Oh, nope. 
And next will be three, four, five. Well, we're not going to do that right now. Maybe later after dinner. We'll see, but not right now. All right. We're going to close it down. Thanks for hanging, Greg. You're welcome. And Dan, I got your commitment for nine o'clock. So sometime today, everyone's going to see that thumbnail go up and uh, schedule. And I'll post the join link and uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll do another stream later. Let's see how I feel. I got to eat real food first, though. All right, everyone. Take it easy. Peace.